first guest because no matter what life throws at her, she keeps it real with poise and grace. And I cannot wait for her new game show, Raid the Cage, to premiere tonight. Please welcome back my friend, Jeannie Mai. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You better come out here with a vengeance looking all good. <laughs> Let me tell hey, you this girl. <laughs> we gotta always take care of us you, though, right? You that have to. You, oh, your microphone fell away. Yeah, I think oh, thank you. I hugged it out of her. I'm too hot for it to handle. You do, you, you know, it's just like, you, you, you gotta take a moment to just take care of yourself yeah. and breathe and do it. And you are doing it so well, thank mama. Thank you, thank you. You look good. Thank you. You know, you you know, I, I just love you. I like to consider you a friend. You're one of my favorite guests, Jeannie, whenever oh, you come. I love coming. It's so home here. I I, I don't hope so. And I know um because I'm I'm one that has been through it and and yes. we are praying for you, but you're going through this divorce. How you doing, mama? You know, I'm not gonna lie, you know, it takes every day to to just really sit and just be quiet in your thoughts, take care of me. Um, but one thing I know is you give God your pain, he will give you his power. Girl. Period. So every day, I'm like, here you go. You got room for more? Here's some more. Here you go. And just taking it day by day, you know? I know mine was, I was like, being on my knees, I'd be like, just give me enough light for this, where I'm at and show me what my assignment is today. I couldn't yes. worry about nothing else. Yes. You just gotta put on the blinders, girl. Absolutely, and turning off everything helps too. Yes. You know, um, after that moment, I just turned off every single device in my house and I really tuned into the voices I really needed to hear, which was me and the truth. That's it, yeah. that's it. You know, um, I know when, when I went through it, Jeannie, and and because I, I had married my best friend, Jeffrey's yes. father, and uh, it was it was devastating to me. And but the thing that held me so much was Jeffrey. Yes. And watching Jeffrey come through the door every day. So you know you have uh, oh Monaco. How are you handling this being a mom, oh Monaco? My gosh. This baby oh right no. here, this blessing right here. You know, Monaco, that is my north star. Yeah. And I can definitely tell you that I don't know if I would handle this the same way without her because today I'm able to look at her and I can say, what would I advise you if you were in my shoes? Yes. And it changes everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm so thankful to be a mom and I'm thankful to have her. You know, it's something like you, you go through stuff and it's just like you look at your child and you go, thank you for this gift because I needed this gift right now. Absolutely. Right now. He knew that, didn't he? He knew that. Yeah. And I, and I got to tell you, Monaco gives me, because I follow Monaco. <laughs> Monaco gives me such joy. And I love watching her on Instagram. Yeah. And I tell you, there was one on Instagram where you were coming back from a trip. You were at the <laughs> airport and she met you at the airport. Did she just melt your heart? How did you <gasps> feel? Look at that. How did you feel watching her? Oh my God, you're gonna start me here. Um, you know, she, Monica's funny, cause she, she's definitely a mood. And on her best days, she's a schmood. Like she just, <laughs> she really isn't about the kisses and hugs. She's really yeah. like, mommy, mommy, not now. She's usually like that. But every so often, she looks at me and she's like, where you been? I've been missing you. Yes. And we have this dance, look at us. We, uh, we, you can already picture it if yes. we're at the club 20 years from now, I don't know. But like, that is my, my everything. And we, we have that vibe and we see each other and, and she knows I got her. Yes, You know, absolutely. And I love it every time I see you and Monica kiss. Like, y'all just kiss, and it is just like... And it's not just one. Mm -mm. I want all of them. We're counting in Vietnamese, we're counting in Spanish, we're <laughs> counting in English. I want all of the love. <laughs> okay, then that's what trips me out, because Monaco speaks English, yeah. and she speaks Vietnamese. Yes. Okay, so, like, do, does she ever get the two confused? You know, the only time she gets confused is when she's making animal noises. Really? Because I didn't realize, but every... Like, just say, for example, a dog. Okay. We in Vietnamese say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, not woof. Not woof, which is in American. <laughs> and, and like in Portuguese, my friend who asked her, she was like, what does a dog say? She said, whoa, whoa. And my friend said, no, no, it's go, go. And we were like, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> what dog is that? Okay. And so every, I think the, the best thing about her is that when she meets people, she gets to teach them a little bit of Vietnamese yeah. from what she learns. And then she picks up English from everybody around her. And so to, to be a proud black and Vietnamese woman in America, that's all I need from that little girl. Oh, man. Yeah. 